Weather so far has been pretty quiet, but we're starting to see some things begin to change. And uh, if you have any plans for the weekend or next week or even beyond, we just need to stay, start to pay a little more attention just because forecasts can certainly change. As we have weak jet stream flow, we're just waiting for these larger, well, systems, tropical systems or other systems that tend to help do the more of the steering. Uh, so our seven day forecast you'll see, especially moving into next week, looks a little bit more unsettled. We've got plenty to talk about right now, though, for the end of summer. Yes, last remaining days of summer. It is certainly mild outside 83. The average high now is about 78 or 79. We're 84 at the E-Town Public Library. I mentioned the Solanco Fair that's happening yet for this evening and tomorrow evening. We've got the Gratz Fair, a big turnout the Gratz Fair last night. Uh, we still have this low pressure off the coast and notice it is providing clouds, but for us, we're kind of in between systems. We got a front off to our west. I point that front out because that front now seems to be arriving on Saturday. What looked to be kind of falling apart may bring some hit or miss showers into the afternoon and evening. So if you do have plans, particularly Saturday afternoon and evening, I don't think it's going to be a washout for us. You'll kind of see what I mean over here in a precision cast. Moving through tomorrow, though, one more day into the 80s, warm, sunny, blue skies. Then clouds begin to increase heading into Friday night and Saturday morning. So Saturday's going to start off cloudy. Watch moving into the afternoon. We see some of these hit or miss showers. Uh, we're still watching to see whether or not it's something that could produce, you know, more like a quarter inch or more, or if it's just something that's going to kind of brush us as it moves through. But let's uh, watch this as we move into Sunday. I still think there'll be some clouds around, maybe even some patchy morning drizzle as we get more of an easterly flow from the Atlantic. So for fall official beginning and watch what happens. We go from 83 tomorrow and then low 70s, about a 10 degree difference. A lot of that has to do with the cloud cover. And yes, there will be shower chances. I'll give you another look at that forecast here. What looks to be, I know, a damp forecast. We have to watch that because it's what we call an omega block. Because the jet stream is shaped like the Greek letter omega, we're stuck under this low pressure, meaning persistent cloud cover. That's what keeps our temperatures down. And we're still trying to pin down the shower chances. I think there will be showers next week. It's just determining when they will happen. So that's why I said it's it's a flexible seven day forecast. <laughs> flexible. And we could use that right. Yeah. Like the Thanks, move Sarah. with it too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, get this.